This video is brought to you by cdkeyoffice.com, the best and cheapest website for buying digital games, CD keys for Windows and Office products, and gift cards on a discount. Simply make an account using your Facebook or Google account, use the code FOXY for 20% off, and activate your product and enjoy your purchase. Go to the link on top of the description and start shopping on a discount today. Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the black screen problem in Streamlabs OBS. Basically Streamlabs OBS will have a black screen problem with the display capture. I have actually just made a troubleshooting video to fix all of the small common problems in Streamlabs OBS black screen. If that video did not help you then this video should actually help you. And also keep in mind that there is a multitude of problems that may cause uh, Streamlabs OBS to have a black screen problem. If it's not uh, one of the problems I addressed in the previous video, it should be this problem, which is a hardware related problem. And if, if the solution I presented in this video did not help you out, then your problem might be quite rare. So yeah, keep watching this video till the end, I highly advise it. Your problem might be fixed using this tutorial. And yeah, so first thing you... Okay, so let's get started. So first thing to do is go to your desktop, right click, then go to display settings. Scroll down, go to graphic settings. Over here, make sure make sure this was make sure this option is toggled off. Make sure this one says desktop app, then go browse. Go to your local program files in the in the C drive. Go to Streamlabs OBS, the Streamlabs OBS.exe. As you can see it's added right now, press it, go to options and let me explain to you what to do right now. So if you are trying to record your desktop, choose the power saving mode. If that doesn't fix the problem then go ahead and choose high performance mode. If you are trying to record your gameplay then make sure to select high performance mode and if, and if that does not fix your problem make sure to choose power saving mode. I'm gonna press save and my problem should now be fixed. It is literally as simple as this. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, I hope this video helped you out. If it didn't, then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video so you can help it reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. Also, hit that subscribe button because I'm on my way to 5,000 subscribers. All help is appreciated. Check out cdkeyoffers.com. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.